What's the crack? What's the bleeding story? How are you all doing? Hope you're well. Um, yeah, I haven't done anything. I was actually going to do it after the game on Sunday or Saturday. I was too, too fucking pissed off to be honest with you. Really fucking pissed off, and it just goes no. I actually I'm too angry to go and go on a rant because I, me me channel probably would have been cancelled. And some might say that could be a good thing. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, um, you know, I I just I, I don't know how, I, I don't know where to start here. It's just there's so many things to fucking start with. Let's start about the performance was fucking diabolical, useless. Okay, I was expecting and bigger fucking idiot me. I was expecting Arsenal to win about three one. You know, I, I I should have known. It's a Saturday evening. It's the late kickoff. We're live on 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 television. There's always a banana skin, all the time with Arsenal. It's never straight fucking forward. Okay, is the pressure getting to them? I think it fucking is, and that's been straight up. I'm not going to mention the ref. We'll mention that in a while, right? Because I, I just want to talk about the performance. The team selection baffling, baffling. That's the word I'll use. I don't get it. I don't know why. You know, three defensive midfielders. You know, starting the young fella. Um, what you call him, Winari? He he plays in in Odegaard's position, and they won't play him there. Why? Do you know what I mean? If you, if you have all this defensive midfielders and you're going sort of negative already into the game, throw someone in there who, who's a bit more positive, a bit more fucking can do something with the ball. You know what I mean? Like He's a, he's a good little replacement for, for Odegaard when Odegaard is not there. You know what I mean? Clearly. But when does he get a run out, this young fella? You know, and... That's down to the manager. It's no one fucking else. It's his fault with the team selection. Okay? And we could go on and on about fucking this, but I'm fucking still just pissed off now, even thinking about it. The red card. The referee. The referees have it in for us. This is terrible. This is this, and all we see is consistency. Yep. Yeah. 100%. Yep. Yeah. If you're a professional football club, I'm doing it. I'm a manager of a kid's football team. I always say to them, don't let the referee have to make a decision. Just don't. Play our own game. And, and the rest will, like, you know, the cream will come to the top. No. We, we always feel sorry for ourselves. Oh, but the referees don't like us. Well, guess what? When I lived through the fucking Fergie time, the fucking, the, you know, all the referees that were, like, you know, fucking, oh, Fergie, afraid of their life to fucking do anything against Fergie. I lived through that area, era. So, I'm well fucking used to it. But it, it's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. Saliba, if you're looking at it, Last man, all this stuff. Your man was running into a, a fucking position where he could have scored. Rules of the game. Send that off. I'm sorry. It is. We didn't listen to fucking what Dell tells the fucking kids. Don't let the referee have to make a fucking decision. I believe Saliba was fast enough. He could have got back. He didn't need to put his arm or fucking anything near him like that. But it happened. We'll have, just have to get fucking on with it. We got out to 10 men. It was in the 30th minute. 10 men. Arsenal Football Club. 750 million spent. Should have enough to beat Bournemouth. No disrespect to them. But they fucking should have enough to beat them. 750 fucking million. And it's coming down to with this manager. For me. Every fucking time a decision is um, not in his hands, therefore a booking, 
a, a, a sending off an offside decision or whatever that should not be given to us, he shits himself. He like you have to call back to the to the games that we got players sent off in. Ended up losing, ended up drawn. Where was the fucking plan? Surely we should be the most experienced team in the Premier League. If we go down to ten men, there should be a plan. There should be two fucking plans because we're fucking well fucking um, experienced at this stage that we should know. We've the most red cards this season. Most, I, I think it's by five in in a calendar year. I think the nearest team to us uh, were five ahead of them. So surely we should know what to do in a situation. No, no, no. Let's start to feel fucking sorry for ourselves. Come on, you f- Go on to fuck! Stupid bollocks. Anyway, we should have it. We should, we should be known by now. But no, we don't. We're feeling sorry for ourselves. And, you know, uh, poor Arsenal, poor this and poor that. Like, when are we going to just fucking learn? Just fucking get on with it. Get over it. And move the fuck on. You know, I'm just, I'm just fucking sick of these Arsenal fans... The, your AFTVs and all this bollocks and, and and fans that think that Arsenal started in, in I don't know the Invincible year or something like that they don't believe that there was history before that you know what I mean Um, and it, oh it's all against us you know I'm, I'm just just so fucking frustrated with it I'm so annoyed with it you know, it's just not acceptable. We just need to just fucking, like, man up and, and continue on. When you go down to ten men, you just, right, pull the sleeves up. Everyone's going to have to put in a shift here today. Trossard was shy. Fucking shy. And, and look, I could say that with the whole team. As, as we all know, the Martinelli thing, he's fucking one-on-one. -on -one. Should have scored it. He should have scored it. He fucking definitely should have scored it. And then we're not feeling sorry for ourselves. The game could have been completely different. No, we'll feel sorry for ourselves. Oh, we, we, we didn't score that goal. I'm fucking sick of it. Seriously. You know, like, as I said, when, when, when Saliba gets sent off, there's time there, reshape, relax, relax, play the fucking game. But no, 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 no. Still moaning. And then we see in the paper today or whatever way you get your news outlet that Arsenal have taken it and says yeah okay Saliba got the red card Saliba's out for Liverpool game that's it Don't, the club is now telling me and that's fair enough I, I agree with them that there's nothing you can do I don't, it won't be overturned even if Arsenal went and they like you know try to fucking moan about it. it's not going to be overturned okay it's as simple as that I know you do agree with people saying the consistency. I do agree with that. I 100% agree with that. It's the consistency with the refereeing in the Premier League is fucking disgraceful. But there's nothing you can do about it. You know what I mean? You have to you have to have the likes of Arsenal meeting with the referee association and all this bollocks and saying, right, here's a list of this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, and you just didn't pull up. They're the exact same incidents that happened with the Arsenal Bournemouth game. But no, the consistency isn't there. Put up a case to them. You know what I mean? Because I'm fucking telling you one thing. Alex Ferguson would have done it. You know what I mean? Fergie time and all this sort of stuff. Now Arsenal are just accepting it. That's fair enough. But it's it's basically should be telling the fans that are out there going, Oh no, but, but. It's telling them to fuck off. It's, it's football. We have to just get on with it. Like we didn't have VAR years ago. Referees made decisions. Made fucking awful decisions. Nothing you could do, the game is over, continue, let's go, next. But if if Arsenal come, and we, uh, we're at home to Liverpool, and if they have that fucking chip on their shoulder about refereeing and, and oh God, we're already, we're missing Saliba and we should this. No, we, no, 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 no. We should have enough in the fucking tank to challenge Liverpool. 750 fucking million again. There should be enough in the squad if Saliba's out injured, if Saliba's out suspended, if Gabriel is out suspended, we should have enough there. 
So don't give me all this bollocks going into a fucking Liverpool game. Oh, but we had Saliba. Oh, if we only had... Fuck off. It's 11 men v 11 men. Liverpool are on fucking fire. And fair play to them. Fair play to this manager. Because they, they could have rolled, turned over and just go, oh, the new manager needs to dig his heels in and, and, and get used to the squad and this and that. That You don't see that with them. They're fucking going straight for it. Better than when Klopp was there. Not not that, you know what I mean? I don't, whatever, I don't give a bollocks about Liverpool, but you know what I mean? There's no fucking excuse there. They're just getting on with it. And that's what I want Arsenal to do. We have a game tonight against Shakhtar Donetsk, okay? This is a fucking perfect game for me to tell the fucking, get, get a bit of morale back to the squad. Beat these, beat them convincingly. And fucking just go get that will get you rocking rocking and ready for for uh, Sunday. Do you know what I mean? So there's, there's no like you know you, you need to the best way to get rid of a defeat and the the, the the you know the fucking morale boost let's say that you need is just to get in onto the pitch, win the next game, and then you have a better an ideal opportunity now with this game tonight. So there should be no excuses on Sunday. I'm not having it. I'm going Arsenal winning tonight. 3-1. Should be a handy game. I don't care. But Dell, Saliba didn't train. Or Saka didn't train. Timber didn't train. I don't care. I, 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 I don't care. There should be enough there. And I'm sick of fucking Egypt using excuses. Oh, the referees. Oh, injuries. Oh, suspensions. Ask me fucking bollocks. And fucking start fucking growing up and demand more from this fucking team and this manager and the fucking the CEOs and the fucking edus of this world because they're the ones held accountable. All right, it's fucking simple as that. And I'll tell you one thing: I'll, I'll be, I, I, I'm not feeling down now over it anymore. I just want them to fucking move on and just get fucking over it. Thanks a million for watching. Hit the like if you like. <laughs> Subscribe if you want. Please do. I'm on the road to 2K now. Thanks a million to everyone who subscribed. I hit the 1K mark. Really do appreciate it. Um, I will be doing a live stream as well this week. So keep an eye out. Hit the notification bell. Until then, take care. God bless. Love you all. See you later.